Swarm plus the Magnus uh, Shockwave to build a stall. They They're do try to make in. the go here. They put the Ice Blast, they do have the stun, but again, the False Promise is there. He has the self fuel trying to get himself out. This should be locked down, but 11 comes in with a three-man RP. And the board. Here comes the shot. Triple kill for Ame. Mason wants the BKB, trying to turn with the heels. Bringing Baby's seven. alive. Back up to full life. Bobo looking to get off the epicenter. He does, but he's down. Ame gets the Ultra. He's looking for the Rampage, but for him, Sprouts it back. They're going to TP out. They, they get the silence. silence. He's gone for the Rampage. Can he get the Rampage? He got Zooming in the mid lane at 700. Oh, bottom though, it's aggressive. Bottom. He stayed out a little too long, aggressive. It doesn't hit. And he lives. Oh no. And now the turnaround. They're in. The Fisher, the Zip, they're on top of both of them. Chalice, he's popped Somnus. He's now surrounded. F5 does come in, does get the Doom down onto XXS. As XXS will surely fall, Arme turning up, but look at the speed of this man. Gets tossed forward as well. Arme zipping around oh here on the Bloodseeker. Picks up the double, gets the triple, getting Q as well. That'll be an ultra killer. Buyback is there from Baboka. He's seeping across the train. He knows Somnus is low. He wants to try and fight it. Arme with the BKB, BKB. down though. The blood right out. He looks towards Aggressor getting the bash. He's killing off the Spectre. Spectre gone. That's the Rampage for Arme. What? And into the trees. Give him the double. Oh my there God. it is. Double Rampage for Arme. XXS frostbitten. Held down. Could it be a triple Rampage? It's yes, it could. <laughs> a triple <laughs> Rampage for Arme. I would be saying the bat is so good against the Timber with that raw magic damage. Arme seems to have his number though. Oh, there's no stuns. He might die. There. Yep. But Double up. Who cares about stuns when you've got damage? He's doing like 550 a hit. Pleb chased in towards his tier three. He's Arme getting tossed up and lands on a thud. Two. Three, four. Yeah, he's done for. P1 shredded. Pleb gets the dismember off, but in comes Y. Keeps the bristle back topped up. And Arme, he is gunning for more. He wants the ultra kill. Come here, Malik. You look tasty, you do. Give me the ultra. Oh, armor the armor toggles. Toggles. Still gonna be an ultra kill, and the, yeah, gotta give him respect. He wanted to give him the rampage. Maybe in the end wants to get out, but yeah, Ame with the rampage. Twenty minutes in. Chain frost, which was doing so much damage for them. They placed the obs down. You've got Ame farming and, and the Ember top lane. Just farming. Yeah, they're letting this tier three and the setter axe go down. Nothing to say. Where you, where you at? This is a, a bit of a late reaction. They're gonna go for this though. They're gonna look for the sort of pop. They get the kill to here. Out onto God King. The Requiem comes down. The BKB's been popped here by Ami. Oh. Once again, they get the kill on a Chalice. Felix, they've looked over at Y. They take out Somnus. Ami with the Ultra kill. All of a sudden, he'll go for the illusion. That doesn't count as a rampage, Ami. It would have had to be the kill out onto X Nova, which he can still get. He's gonna blink over and find himself X Nova and it get had to the, be the rampage. Crit. It had to be the crit. Well, uh, Whisper yeah. did buy out for his, which is probably why they give him that Aegis. I but like just straight, I missed that. That, that, that is a rough one. Very rough. Still six minutes, but the big jump no through. Aegis. No Aegis on Shadow Fiend. That's the price you pay. And now K1 Ultra goes down. Whisper's the only one left alive. LGD, they strike back in the biggest way. All right, just a bait. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need him. That's it. That's all it was. I the damage the is pop, They stood no hope in the team fights. And just target the target prioritization from LGD is just insane. Always knowing when the opportunity to silence is there. Oh, there's nothing to say. They've got the stump on the two of them. Oh, nothing to say. He's trying to get into back them up. Mystic Flare comes down onto FY. FY's gone. The IO goes down. Elephant. They're trying to fight, but Eurus, he's just not got the damage. He gets RP'd by Faith Bian. Three dead. They so might call this, this soon. He's gonna die. I think you could be expecting the G's to come up soon. They're there they calling are. it. GG. Yeah. Absolutely. And there's the Hurricane Pike finished off for collapse. That's pretty quick. A minute and a half quicker than the average as well. Looking to go in and have the Rolling Thunder. They'll go after Mira, but he'll rebound away. Slow the lot though. Mira on the run. Viper Strike through onto nothing to say. 
He's got to be careful, and so does ZQ. They've got the Storm Hammer, Avalanche on a four, as well as the Swashbuckle landing on these heroes. They've got the Sprout, they have the control. They look over Toronto, took you the rebound once again. Nothing to say he doesn't have the Rolling Thunder. He already went in with the Shield Crash, but he's got the save from Y with the Shallow Grave. Swashbuckle Ooh, getting careful. Toronto, Tokyo very low. They've got the Sprout with the Force Staff, which is actually the Hurricane Pike to get away. Unstable Concoction, the Storm Hammer out on Ame, but they've got the Disarm out of the Sven. They're looking maybe to get the Remnant back into the fight, but there's Faith Beyond behind them all. Goes into Toronto, took the Dakota Mirror. They've got the Ice Path on it too, but it's not going to matter. Yatoro is gone. But Mushka, he's only going to survive for a little bit longer as they are in on this Jakiro, and it's a triple kill for Ame. Where's case scenario? He just picked up his radio. Instant with the Agonist. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Chrono seven, Sphere, seven six, seconds away. Five. They're all grouped together. Do they realize they got the lift up? They need to be able to get this Chrono Sphere off two seconds away. Can they stun lock him? The save coming with the Astral. They're kind of grouped together for the moment. If they decide to jump out afterwards, the Chrono Sphere is available. But instead, they're just turning the fight with the BKB. Old 11 catches now onto one, trying to bring him down. Somnus very low, but 11 is just going to drop. Old Chicken manages to bring down one. The walk forward, Chrono Sphere onto four. It's doing a lot of damage. But now Old Chicken FY is there as well. Able to steal away. Chrono Sphere turns it back, but it's on top. Up of the PA BKB. Old Chicken now is just beating away into her. Now the turnaround coming a second time as Chalice trying to see if they can find that kill. Buyback coming from the Lion is he's going to be in here in a second. But LGD have already somewhat won this fight. It's only the Shadow Demon and the Lion left. And with that, LGD managed to take it. <laughs> what? Illusions and herself to push in the top lane. Spectral Haunt will get it to the front lines no matter what. This is just side lane pressure being applied against Team Liquid. Chalice with the Aegis, passed a long way in. I love the leap, getting him deep underneath the tier four towers. They're trying to break free him, and maybe they have enough with the volley as well. Mind control, here he's got trees to work with. They break the Aegis Immortal, Armate him very deep, also at the tier four towers. All three homing missiles to connect on faces, boys. Fortification, buying time for Team Liquid. Even the Creep Wave is standing as ground. Chrono Spear, you can see Miracle. He's trying to get closer. They have sentry wards down, however, they see him. And the back line, the gyro comes to die quickly, so a bit of disruption, are you kidding me? FY is just creating so much space to allow Spartans to rip into Team Liquid! Two on the big pawns down the solid corner, why not FY? That's the game, everyone's going down, and no one's getting up from this, LGD! A full set of racks mid as well. Everyone is dead. Morphling can't defend this because he doesn't have shotgun. You're not afraid of him right now. But he's just going to go on the other side. And because of that arcane rune, in less than 20 seconds, they're going to have access to it again. Oh, though comes in! What? All right. He just comes in and deletes three of the heroes of Liquid. He's back into the, the gyrocopter. And just like that, Arme strikes. When he's close to everything that he wants. Something like Pretty that. Pretty good. That's the All right, crit. we'll fight double damage. Okay. Did okay, they want to go for anyone. a fight now. He has the bloodlust applied. Arme. How many shots will it take? He finds Nisha. No, we'll back away for now. Oh, oh my yeah. god. Yes, sir. Standing one shot this time. What Nisha, the despite having the BKB. <laughs> oh my god. Secret are crumbling because Tiny is gigantic. <laughs> Lashed onto the key targets. They lost all their vision. They don't see anything right now. They've got one ward where the Razor is right now, and that's what Collapse is going to use. In with a storm, Faith Beyond low. They should be able to bring the Razor down, and LGD just hands in the air, back up and evade. Or, or do they? They're rolling in, they're finding the Bloodseeker, they've got the magic damage to pummel him, even through the cold embrace. And now Jin Q trying to get in on top of the rest of them. Not quite latching, but a six. Oh, oh he was no. trying to go for the curse, gets oh, bad. Poshka, he tried, but he failed. Falling short of the mark, and Storm Spirit Yule's stunned and dead. He tried to go for relocate, but there's too much damage coming out, and now your buildings are exposed. This is full AC plus Deso on a lone druid, so if you don't buy back, you're gonna lose this set of barracks plus potentially another one. This, yeah, this, this might just be the signal like, of the end. What the GLGD is doing right now, they're forcing the buybacks. They're going for tier to, fours. You've got to. Storm Spirit returns to the battlefield, but Mira, he's dying to magnetize. Gets in Fountain just in time. Storm Spirit zips back across Y. Now they found the Mars that was collapsed. Oh, the end by the GQ, game. And the throne is falling. There's nothing to stop this map. Absolutely if dominant. You have IO, even Pierre with the Blink Strike. It's very mobile. Now they yeah. have five top. They want to look for another fight. But why? They need to do it pretty quick because the BKB is going to come for Ame on this courier. So now he's got the BKB. They can turn this if they want to. And that's exactly what they're going to do. Double shine. Getting the kill on Evo. The big up fly fly. Ame going buck wild here. The change. GG.
Oh, oh my god, LGG, LGG just dismantled them. Man, like, it wasn't if you like this. this Observer board still getting his wards down. Maybe. Well, this could be a kill into maybe here. Evil Genius is only going to try and go for this one. Well, in comes the epicenter, the blink, the burrow strike. It does come through. They're trying to take down this mile as quickly as possible. He is getting low. Artizi comes in as Paul get the kill. But now on the back lines, Chalice, he's actually locked up as well here, being held still by Crit. It's beautiful rolling thunder, but Ruby also rolling through. He's going to hold down too. Samel is actually going to drop here. They turn around onto S4 as well. Also disappears the waveform forge onto Fly Fly, trying to get up onto the high ground. But there is no escaping army. ATZ on the run, running backwards into their own base. X Nova is chasing. Can he actually do this right now? He's he's gonna have the Rolling Thunder. FY around the other side with a burst strike forwards. And now the Rolling Thunder gonna connect. No, never mind. Oh, he stunned him. Keep him still, Arteezy. Threat. The trees right now. He's gone. Arteezy taken out a great team as well. Wide. This is yes. not affecting This game is. For all intents and purposes, practice and a show match. Oh, Whisper. Whisper gets spotted out. Jinq jumps in. Whisper has to pop that BKB right off the bat, and they've actually used the egg as well. All oh, right, Jinq. Jinq. I got him. Enigma dies though, so one for one. And now Stinger taking the brunt of the damage from Ame. Oh my God, his damage is out of control. And there's the dual victory, triple kill for Ame. Buyback so was right here for LGD, and they just start to take advantage. But coming over is Setsu Lanham. Oh, the Centaur! Well, get the hoof stomp out. That dominated Centaur, and now behind them, maybe all by himself, and Fiend's Grip comes out. They'll get the kill on the Setsu, and maybe he is doomed up. We'll see if he's able to survive, try and run away, and the Sunder to keep him alive. The Gloom's back into the Static Storm and Omni Slash. I don't end up killing him. They don't have the Sunder here for the Terrorblade, but the Impale comes in. And that Sunder save was for nothing. They chase on FY. The Shrine is available. Chasing him to the Shrine is uh, don't do that 101. SRF is just dead again. Moving up to the high ground with no regard for your own life. And now they've got the Nightmare onto Monet, who will Blade Fury away, but will he even escape? They get the kill on Afu. They've got the Malphys, Fissure comes in, Ame behind him, Echo Slam comes out, it will get a kill here on the FY, but down goes Monet, and after all is said and done... Uh, well, they get Pango got... rolled, and then the artillery just starts going to town with the Drow as well as Lina. So what they do is they poke and force out the Pango roll, and then they just disengage. And oh, now that it's on cooldown, no they can go. Or a soul assumption is there, smoke screen as well, he's done. Monet gets a pretty good multi-shot, but this is going the way of PSG LGD for sure. Two for nothing to start it. And nothing to say, he's not done here quite yet. Gets the Searing Chains off, but the disruption's gonna delay this just for a little bit. Space Beyond continuing with his familiars, but Monet just ticking down ever so slowly. Another gosh, but there's the Blink Strike from Ame. Double kill for him. Tricks of the trade, but Blink Strike back into the fray, and that's a fourth kill going the way of LGD, and this should be a free Roche as well. They build up these drafts where they had Io and Dazzle and Huskar, and they have you know, Wyvern, multi layers of support. You go on one that saves the other, that saves the other, and right now, Nothing to say, he knows he has so much backup. He dives to tier four towers. He's able to turn and fight because he's still got the shadow wave, the heal, the grave, everything on top of him to keep him alive. They've killed Misha. Tiger, he's not going to survive. Navi Siren will dive in behind the barracks. They finish off the buildings and LGD cruising towards victory at this point. OG will now look towards the Naga Siren, eyes on army. There's the coil snap. They blow up one. Y is dropped, but the Winter's Curse straight onto Amar. Take the Slardar down as Arme stands his ground. Healed up by the Cold Embrace, but this time OG. Big ulti. They should be able to find a couple of quick kills. But Yuragi, oh, he can't contend with his Naga illusions. Oh, Arme, he just 1v3ing them at this point. Nothing to say. Will the Rife back in? And Tiny punches down the TA. I don't believe this. Arme is still alive. This might be, they were not able to take down Aegis and they're going to What a beautiful performance as from well, so now he can cross terrain as a dog. So he's going to be a wolf, a uh, rock, spider hybrid. The quick fox. With a Christmas tree. Don't forget that. Along. Very important aspect. There's the avatar. And the break onto Nisha. He's going to get saved by the cookie. Here comes the RP. Onto two. You can see the summer doing a ton of damage, trying to heal up Ame. And that Satanic is doing a really good job of that. He's going to be able to find at least one kill here. 
The coil was on a couple of heroes as Yasser's gonna take a tumble, but a bunch of buybacks from Team Secret. They want to try to win this fight, but PSG LZ are only going to cost them one buyback, and now the pressure is on to Matu on this Weaver, getting extremely low. That passive, but bit of harass coming out on X Nova again. He's going to go with the banishment, throw out some of that poison, and uh, they'll turn their attention. Ame wants to chase him down, will turn his attention now over onto DY. Lance the Impale. Uh oh, it's not looking very good right now for that life, so he's going to have to run Ame. himself away. Three stacks, four stacks. And uh, FY, FY's gonna get taken down. Nova trying to run himself oh, away. Sticks. DY is looking for that opening. Can he find it? He'll be able to get another kill. And they'll turn their attention over onto the next. Should be able to clean up. No, but the Here's impale goes go. out. Is he gonna stay alive? DY, God, the glimpse comes out again. Trying to juke himself away. That one hand run on You run away run. from the hand. You got the golden run hand. It. Don't let run. him get you. Don't. I know you run. want a Midas, but that's not a Midas. And he's all right. With that rage, he does. RP and T1. See if they want to try to take advantage of this. I mean, they're going to have to if this continues to go in LGD's favor with this push. E-Blade on top. I mean, you can see the jump in from nothing to say with an overwhelming blink being shown as Carl has to pop his BKB and there is the duel. Do they have enough damage for the Sunder from Ame allowing the duel victory to go the way of nothing to say. He's just going to walk that one off. The 23 Savage can't so walk that hard. one off. That is just too much damage to withhand. And Carl jumps in. This is going to be the beginning of the end, I do believe. Although two buybacks come up for T1. And the Metamorphosis is running out, but again, he has Demon Seal to work with. Bane's going to take a tumble, wipe on. Drops to the deck as well, one for one. Laguna Blade, Ame getting extremely low. That's just the Aegis though. Carl completely out of mana. Nothing to say, is still alive throughout all this, some way, somehow. And just going to play all the pressure to the racks here. This will be a dieback onto Carl. On the side And it looks like that step. is going to be enough to GG out of game one. And like we talked about, Cinder and T1 have looked really good. Nothing to say. <laughs> Disarm, more stuns. I, I don't know what to do here. If you're seeing <laughs> oh, Ame's gonna jump in, get more staffed away thanks to the Hurricane Pike. And Bane, I mean, he's up in 15 anyway. Doesn't even have to expend the buyback. Gale Force just forcing them back away. All right, they jump in, but they're just immediately retreating here. Matu can't make up his mind. Going for the LC now. Gets forced that again. Matu is going to find the kill, but that's a buyback now for him. Matu able to earth shot to the other side. Split earth on the both of you. Boundless strike. What a god. Jin Q and company just decimating secret now. Over aggressive without the buybacks to work with. Uh, EG knowing that the puck is actually bottom lane. They're going to push out, see if they can catch somebody here. Universe. That is Blink. They're going to go for the Phantom Assassin here. They do manage to land the stun before the BKB, so he's just going to give up his first life. That's okay. He's going to come back with BKB and see if he can chase EG. Or EG going to feel like they can fight this one. He is actually going to Blink forward and take the easier kill onto Yao, potentially, with the trap slowing him down. Universe is just going to hold on to his Shadow Blade here, sit on the back lines, waiting for his Blink. If there's any sort of counter-initiation like Victoria coming up here, oh. RTZ, oh, jeez, Zame actually just blows up the Earth Spirit, but they do manage to get a jump in from Old Eleven. Unfortunately, he was silenced, so the RP is only going to be able to catch one, but it is RTZ. Ame will take that kill. Echo Slam, oh no, it's a little bit late. They do manage to get the stun onto Ame, which buys Sam a little bit of time, but he was Heaven's Helper during all that, so he just sat there in the metal strike and now he's going to be surrounded by far too many heroes lgd all things act. considered for liquid that's not that bad oh darkly and once again there's eight the lens of fy comes in to work eight long charges are available darkly able to get the search by control getting some distance and now they try and turn around and for the stomp Ame, he committed the raid to miracle will come in with the iron shield they'll get these great step chains done fy he's going to split the fight once again but Ame, he's down the toggling his way to safety we have need to chase him down there's your burst But it's not what you came for. What happens with the uh, talent tree though? Like when you do shock as well as like the level 25? <laughs> the double double? Yeah, double double. Oh, Puck. Jump down. Yeah, okay, Amy's actually focusing now on objectives. Beating into the tier 3 tower, getting rid of this. It's daytime now as well, so Yao's sustain to this team fight is, is insane. Everybody heals up. Never ending spam, never ending vision. And I'm wondering how long it's going to take before Infamous just agrees that this game is done. Because LGD, like, it would take a miracle to win this, and maybe they can find it. You got your first 
as the face is for Chrono, but Jakira was too far away and didn't have Macropire available. Dream Call RP is down. They're looking for the damage. The BKB protecting Tomato now is up to the snowball to do it. They pull them all in, but two are gone straight away. Triple kill. When everyone's that close, the cleave is even easier. And Phantom Assassin will end this game 13 1 4, 14 14 1 4. Phantom Assassin 3.